Vettel just revealed this could be the end. Don't we all love Sebastian, aka the famous Red Bull racer? But what if I told you this could be the end for him? I can already imagine your mind running in a loop of insanity. I know who could have imagined Sebastian hanging up his helmet, but this brings to the question as to why he's ending this when he possibly admits he's afraid to hang up his helmet and face the uncertainty of what comes next in his life. Is it because of Lewis Hamilton or any of his rivals? Well, for now, this remains a mystery, but if you guys could stay put till the end of the video, we'll unveil as to what actually happened. I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss it. So without any further ado, let's get started. With four drivers' championship titles, Sebastian Vettel has certainly shocked the racing world when he just revealed this could be the end for him. It goes without saying, Vettel is one of the most successful drivers to have ever raced in the sport. Needless to say, he earned pre-wins and 57 pole positions, but alas, he's not won a world title since 2013. Not to forget, he hasn't actually won a race either since 2019, which shows you the difficulties he's had of late on the track. Though that's, of course, not all his fault, as the Ferrari in 2020 and the Aston Martin in 2021, and so far this year, have not been quick enough to deliver victories. Vettel has been a Formula One driver since 2007. To see him just end his legendary career is something no one had predicted, even in the wild. It's fascinating how he made his debut in a one-off race with BMW Sauber, finishing eighth at the United States Grand Prix. After such a remarkable debut, no wonder he was signed to Red Bull to their Toro Rosso team. He made it to the grid that same season, which shocked many fans at the time. He's been a full-time Formula One driver ever since, with stints at Red Bull, Ferrari, and now Aston Martin. But now his career is nearing its end. Dropped by Ferrari after the 2020 season, there was speculation that Vettel would call it quits then and there rather than drop down the grid. But hey, it's Sebastian. However, he surprised many as the father of three when he instead signed with Aston Martin. But with that failing to provide the success he'd wished for, Vettel's future is once again in question. Quitting racing, though, isn't that easy. Yes, the 34-year-old said, quoted by PA news agency at the launch of the ill pit stop, when asked if he was scared to retire. Sebastian Vettel has said he will decide whether he wants to remain in F1 for 2023 this summer, but has hinted he could retire as there are many things he doesn't like about the sport. The Aston Martin driver claimed his future will depend on how he feels over the next races, but didn't deny he may walk away from F1. He said being an F1 driver was very time-consuming, and admitted he missed time with his family when he was away. Although, speaking at an El Pit Stop press event, the four-time champion admitted he was scared about the thought of retiring. I've done motor racing for my whole life, and it gives you security in terms of the schedule being made by other people. Let's take a sneak peek into what Vettel said on retiring. He said, I don't know what life after Formula One looks like, and I don't think any sports person knows what the next life looks like. You can have certain things lined up, but you don't know, and that's the truth. I don't expect to find something tomorrow which I'm really good at, because I've already found something in my life that I'm really good at, and it's hard to find that again. How many times can you win the lottery? I enjoy driving the car, but there are other things I don't like. After so many years, the usual stuff comes up that you don't understand at the beginning, like the travel. It's very time-consuming, and I have kids at home and a family, so it equals time away from them. The future depends on this year and the races that I have coming up. I've not decided yet. The summer is the usual time when you start to talk, so we'll see. Aston Martin team boss Mike Crack has made it known that he's keen to retain the German services, but with just five points on the board, Vettel may yet decide enough is enough. With the four-time world champion already up against it after lacking so much seat time, he fell behind even further due to technical problems in the Melbourne practice. Vettel had to park his AMR22 near the end of FP1 with a loss of power which prompted an engine change that also saw him miss FP2. He was restricted to just five laps before crashing out of FP3 and was eliminated in Q1 after barely making it out at all, following an impressive repair job by the team. Early in the recent race, Vettel and teammate Lance Stroll attempted to benefit from an early safety car to get a free stop for new tyres, but on lap 23, Vettel lost control on the high turn 5 exit curbs and smacked his nose into the wall on the opposite side, suffering terminal damage. When asked whether his crash was the result of an ill-handling car or a lack of mileage, Vettel said it was probably a bit of both. 
but admitted he was perhaps pushing too hard in an effort to make up lost ground. It remains the longest race in Formula One history at a shade over four hours from start to finish, though two of those hours saw nothing happen as intense rain caused the red flags to fly. When the cars were moving, though, the action was breathtaking. The best F1 driver in history is a debate that has and will continue to rage as long as Formula One exists, but we look at who the best drivers are now. While his form in Formula One isn't what it once was, there was a time when Sebastian Vettel was virtually unbeatable. Don't you guys think so? Vettel's F1 career started in 2007, and in his first three years, he took nine podiums and five wins, though this was nothing on what was to come. Over the next four years, he became the face of F1, winning four consecutive championships and becoming the youngest world champion in the process. He also secured the records for most podium finishes in a season, most wins in a season, most pole positions in a season, most laps led in a season, most consecutive wins, most consecutive grand slams, and most wins from pole position in a season. And to lose such an extraordinary player would be a hard blow. Unfortunately for Vettel, the regulation changes in 2014 didn't suit Red Bull, and the team quickly fell back through the pack. He went from nine consecutive wins in the final nine races of the 2013 season to not winning a single race until 2015, and since that 2013 season, he's only taken 14 wins. Despite that, he's still widely regarded as one of the best drivers on the grid, and his list of records is likely to stand for many more seasons. Vettel's record is amazing, although he's kept the best car pretty much every year, which Michael didn't have. Vettel just staying at Red Bull and winning trophies is boring. I don't see what he's trying to prove. Okay, he's going to collect a lot of championships, but you know what? Who cares? The four-time world champion will go down as one of the sport's best drivers, with him third on the all-time victory list behind just Lewis Hamilton and Michael Schumacher. So what do you guys think? Vettel's return to the top step does not appear set to happen overnight, at least not on pure performance. But when Sebastian will retire is still undisclosed, and the internet is flooded with anticipation. That's all for this video, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more updates.